the president announced a relief package. A stimulus package typically involves fiscal and monetary policy uh, assistance. So what is the difference between a stimulus package and an economic relief package? And which of these did the president announce on Tuesday? It did have aspects of fiscal policy uh, in it, but it's more of a re relief for COVID. It's not um, a relief necessarily for the economy. And I think that we will see that in phase three, which is what the president announced, that we are in phase two. And phase three will deal with the medium to long term goals of the country, which will involve uh, getting the country back to recovery and sustained growth. So do these packages ever work? What are the pros and cons? The lockdown has put a lot of strain on many companies in South Africa. And so the purpose of, of the relief is also to uh, put a safety net for those companies and also for those who have lost their jobs. Mm. Um, so that is the positive element of it. We've also decided that um, to, to have uh, food packages to also assist those who are poor and vulnerable. And we've also increased um, the social grants and we're also going to support those recipients with um, uh, food packages as well. Mm. The, the negative part of this is that money doesn't fall from the sky and money, you know, money that is not yours needs to be paid back. Mm. So as the president announced, we will, this money is a combination of the South African fiscus, the reallocation and reprioritization of the budget, uh, together with money sourced from uh, multilateral organizations. So I'm hoping that they do speak to uh, organizations that offer um, very low interest rates so that it takes us a very short time to pay back uh, this loan uh, versus one where the interest rate is quite onerous and we have to then pay it over a very long period. Mm. So I think that um, that is obviously the cost of uh, mm. borrowing money elsewhere. Mm. The other thing is that um, we are going to, instead of putting money in um, investments and, and helping to uh, turn the economy around, what we've done is that we've, we're supporting, which is what is needed, the poor. Yeah. So there is a give and take there, and it's a very tough decision to make, but it's quite obvious that we need to uh, be very conscious of those who are impacted neg negatively by this, um, by this coronavirus and mm. lockdown. So 500 billion rand in relief funds was announced by the president. So what are the key things this money is going towards? Definitely the social grants, especially child um, uh, where, where children are involved. Because if you recall that the ch child support um, is needed because the kids who go to school in impoverished areas and rural areas and the poorest schools, so to speak, they typically are, fun, are, are fed at school scheme. So I think that also helping a small and informal sector is very important. Yeah. Um, I think that the ex additional expenditure that is going towards PPEs and beds and ventilators is also very important currently. And uh, I think it, that is no brainer. Uh, protecting and jobs, you know, 100 billion has been allocated towards protecting jobs, ensuring people, companies don't lay off workers um, and helping, as I mentioned, S uh, SMEs and I think about about two billion dollars, uh, two billion rands has been dedicated towards that, and then you also have that two hundred billion rands that uh, um, loan guarantee scheme, where companies can tap into small um, and informal sectors. Um, uh, companies, small companies, can also tap into this resources, uh, uh, resource, and which will help them um, survive and also help them go back into operation.